What's up, YouTube? Capital G here. Got some tier two duels for you guys to check out. These are all decks that can contend with the meta if things go right. Well, maybe not even if things go right. Some of these decks are actually just kind of designed to counter the meta, or at least that's the way people build them. First duel is ABC at the bottom, and we have uh, Scepters at the top. To me, this is a pretty good hand for uh, both players. Maybe not necessarily the ABC hand because it's a little too much monster flooded for my liking but the subterranean hand i think is excellent anytime you open with extravagance i think you have a good hand and then if you can follow that up with pot of duality you're basically seeing like what like three brand new cards in your opening hand plus you're getting uh possibly the draw phase if you go second so it's pretty good anyways abc are up first and uh, he's gonna go with that gold gadget into b goes for the platinum gadget interesting He's going to summon the silver gadget from his hand, activate the effect, and then goes for Bujin Sukiyumi. Now, the fact that he drew Ash Blossom was excellent because if nothing else, that should counter the pot of extravagance, which you would imagine that the, uh, you know, subterranean player would be activating first because that's the only time you can use it. It's fine. He still has two good uh, follow or two solid follow ups in Hidden City, plus he has his pot of duality. So he's getting to Guru one way or another. So he's going to flip. He's going to go ahead and search. He's going to activate the Cave Clash, flip down to Tsukiyomi summon one of his big subterrors from his deck i'm not used or from his hand i'm not used to seeing this one usually i see umistrix but um I, I guess to each its own now the monsters are face down he was planning on putting one of them probably face up with the final battle but solemn judgment shuts that down and now that solemn judgment has been used to shut down the final battle guess what fiendus is dead as well personally i think i would have went for the pot of duality instead of summoning the big subterranean monster because i don't know i kind of want to have a live card on i'd rather just like dig for another defensive card but i guess he didn't see the final battle being negated you know that probably wasn't very likely to happen anyways his opponent's gonna go for summon sorcerers He's going to add from the copy of B. Now he's going to summon. He goes for Nightmare Phoenix to pop Hidden City to make sure his battle phase can actually be effective. And now he's going for Nightmare Griffin. This means that this guy right here, who is not linked to anything, will now be negated. His flip effect because it was special summon. He's going to drop not one but two copies of ABC Buster Dragon. And he makes sure that the Guru is not going to activate it or not going to activate by banishing it. So, I mean, he did a hell of a number there in that turn, leaving his opponent with only 100 life points but you guys know on this channel 100 life points is more than enough but uh, maybe not in this duel <laughs> he's gonna go for guru now he's finally gonna go ahead and use the pot of duality his opponent tries to tag out abc buster dragon he says i'm gonna negate that but he is gonna get caught by the grave he puts the buster dragon face down the other one that is in the extra monster zone which is fine um actually you know what looks like his pot of duality may not have actually been that good turn one anyways because it seems like he was just going to get more cards that he kind of already had and i'm not sure that that was really going to get him anywhere he's going to he's going to search umistrix which technically he can't even summon because he did just special or he did just use pot of duality i think maybe he wanted to flip it face down and then try to summon umistrix uh during his opponent's turn but the problem is he can simply just banish the uh the guru face down or he could just banish the guru with buster dragon's effect and everything else will just kind of be null and void his opponent will not allow, not allow him to have another turn not with this much damage on board plus even if he did summon umistrix would it even matter because he has nightmare griffin on field like he's not going to be able to resolve the flip effect basically ever unless he you know figures out a way to like link it up with something but i don't really see that happening so abc definitely taking the game right there second duel it's going to be burning abyss for cyber dragons two decks that want to go seconds and you know i actually think that during the next ycs i feel like cyber dragons are going to top um at least top 64 cyber dragons um top three regionals in the first weekend that dual power was legal so they're doing really good and i mean top eight too not like top 35 or some crap like that talking about actually getting to the top cut anyways um uh, dante is going to be the first play goes for underclock taker then is going to go for um probably seer bring back to dante go for like beatrice after summoning highlander and block dragon not a bad field but against cyber dragons is not that good because cyber dragons have always had the contact fuse and you know it's it's particularly good against decks that run machine monsters as um the hydralander is so just get rid of that he also has the ability to simply contact with another cyber dragon to get rid of underclock taker so he's in good position anyways his opponent's gonna farfa 
It looks like he's trying to uh, farfa the copy of Chimera Tech away. He's going to go for that Cyber Emergency. Now Nash is hitting the field. Going to reborn a Cyber Dragon. And he's going to be able to get a search as well. This means that he almost certainly is going to be dropping uh, Cyber Dragon, Seeger, Nova, and Infinity in this turn. I would suck up the Block Dragon because I don't want to attack over that. He does. Now he can simply crank his Seeger up and negate the copy of Beatrice. Attack over the Underclock. And this is just elementary here. This is just a good old-fashioned Cyber Dragon ass whooping. This is what this deck can do the only thing that's unfortunate is that he does have his copy of fortress dragon in attack mode that's the only thing that worries me maybe anyways he's going to go ahead and let the um tour guide from the underworld through i would have just negated it if you have bls or something like that go for it i just would have went ahead and negated it anyways he is going to get some effects off he's going to negate i think the libic effect which I feel like was kind of a waste. He also is going to turn off the copy of Seeger, so now he can't use Seeger to crank up one of his monsters, and don't look now, but he has Destrudo. He can maybe try to pull this back. Gonna go for um, the Nightmare Cerberus to pop the copy of Infinity, and maybe this is doable. Goes for Nightmare Unicorn to spin back the Cyber Dragon. It could be possible. I think if he legit did not draw that Mare Mare, I think maybe he could have tried to go for a Yazzie play, and he could have probably pulled this duel back, but it, maybe it didn't matter on Honestly, I totally forgot. He had cybernetic overflow set the entire time. So <laughs> he's going to tribute for the cyber dragon just out of disrespect to his opponent. And he simply attacks for game after cranking it up with cyber dragon Seeger. So yeah, maybe it was a moot point. I totally forgot he had the over uh, the overflow set, so maybe that just would have popped the copy, like, before he even summoned uh, Yazi, maybe he just would have ended up popping the uh, the Destrudo, and, you know, that would have just gotten rid of that. But anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed those nice little tier 2 duels. If you did, give the video a thumbs up. Thank you guys for watching. As always, subscribe if you have not already, and turn on that notification bell for daily videos.